Okay, so welcome back to this next video in which we are discussing the vascular endothelial growth factor receptor. Okay, so we have now looked at the downstream pathways of the vascular endothelial growth factor receptor 2, which remember was the most important one in the response to vascular endothelial growth factor A, uh, specifically, well, very much so in the adult in a way. Okay, uh, so uh, we've seen that it leads to the production, or the activation rather, of these five different transcription factors. We've seen that we have the nuclear factor of activated T cells, the mammalian target of rapamycin complex 1, uh, the MYC transcription factors, ELK1, and uh, also, uh, which was the final one, CFOS, CGN, heterodimers. Okay, now, these transcription factors will affect gene expression within the cell. They will change gene expression within the cell. And these changes in gene expression are going to bring about the changes that will lead to angiogenesis uh, that is organized by these endothelial cells, basically. So remember, in order to get uh, angiogenesis, what we needed is very ordered changes in the endothelial cells. We needed proliferation, and all of these transcription factors famously activate proliferations. They're going to activate division of the endothelial cells. But we need more than that. We need ordered migration of these endothelial cells. And these transcription factors are also going to help with that. So they will change the phenotype of the cells, they will make them divide, and they will cause ordered proliferation. And it is these transcription factors then which produce the appropriate changes in the endothelial cells that you need in order to get uh, this ordered uh, process of uh, angiogenesis occurring, okay, so that you can produce blood vessels which will supply the originally hypoxic area. And of course, uh, when we, for instance, think about sprouting angiogenesis, uh, the endothelial cells will migrate towards the source of the vascular endothelial growth factor A molecules. Okay, so that now concludes our discussion of uh, the vascular endothelial growth factor receptor.